Before we dive into today's adventuring, I want to show you guys this reproduction of Sir Razik's sword sent to me by the folks over at Kalamaseel. Big thanks to them. The wild part is, despite how accurate this sword looks to the in-game version, complete with the King Family Vengeance inscription on the blade, the whole thing is actually made out of foam, but it looks incredibly real. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, hit the link in the description and you'll also get 10% off of your order from them if you decide to pick one up for yourself. No kickbacks for me, just a discount for you guys. Again, big thanks to Samuel from Kalamaseel and Rick from Warhorse Studios for sending this over. Hey folks, Dave here and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where once again, we're going to do some adventuring as my Robin Hood style Henry. And if you missed out on part one, where I went over my weapons as well as which armor pieces I'm using to create this Robin Hood look, go ahead and roll back to part one and check that out because today we're going to head right out of Ratai and get right into the bandit hunting. We've got one more bandit contract to take care of. From there, I'm going to take care of some side questing, including one literally called Rob from the Rich and Give to the Poor. According to our contract, the bandit camp that we're going to be taking out in this episode is actually just over the hill from the one that we took out last time. And before I move in, let's see if I can lower my noise just a bit. I should have a buff here that, yeah, makes me 70% less noisy. Let's also put on my quiet shoes. And there we have it, guys. It's time to do some sneaking. Got that heavier armor on as well. <coughs> There's the camp. You can see the tents right there. Do they have any perimeter guards is the question. There's someone stirring a pot of stew. Okay, I see one lightly armored, one heavily armored. They're all eating. They're all clustered up. Let's try to get the armored guy. Got him. That was the camp leader, I think. This guy is drawing his sword. Alarm! Got two. Over here. Where is you know, everyone? it might just Quick. be the four of them, but I'm gonna fall back a bit Alarm! so I don't get surrounded. Raise the alarm! Watch out! Do they actually lose me? It looks like the backup is searching for me in the wrong direction. And this guy's gone back to camp for some wine, I think. Okay, they're looking over here now. They saw something. Got a perk that makes me very hard to notice when I'm completely still. Can I get a stealth kill? Well, now, look what's well come that didn't work. Go ahead and gather your strength. You need it. Mm. 
You heard me at the last second. Over him! Come here, Lily Liver. Whoa. Uh. Cowardly Archer. That's supposed to be my thing. And that's what you get. The question is, do we show mercy? This guy didn't fight too nastily. Hmm. Give up your weapon, and you can go. All right. We'll spare the last bandit. Spread the word of what Henry's up to out here. <laughs> we do lose out on his bandit ear, though. Trusty Companion Short Sword. And some gloves there. Go ahead and take everyone's weapons here. It looks like they might have had... Yeah, an ambush along this path. Broken wagon wheel and signs of a fight with some bloody clothes. Now, I felled two with arrows, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's the bandit leader's spurs. And his ear. <laughs> Same idea. Grab the ear. He's got a ring on him, too. They've also been poaching, it looks like. Ooh, and a treasure chest. Very hard lockpick. Lost that one. There we go. Really, it's full of food. All right, well, I will take a apple and some bread. Well, I have a beer too, why not? Oh, my Easter egg has gone bad. Let's just go ahead and drop that. And I'll eat some dried mushrooms as well. A little bit overstuffed, but that's okay. Over here. Where is Looks like the guy we spared is wanting to wander back into camp already. Get over here. So just in case there's any more of his hey, friends left out here, what I'm going to do here, is have a bite of their stew, and then I'm going to poison the stew, and leave the rest of their camp as it is. I'm also going to scare the horses off here. I can. There we go, stampede horse. What's <laughs> going? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You don't want any of this. So I've poisoned this doom and sent his horses away. That should save any peasants nearby from additional attacks. Now to get paid for this bandit contract, I've got to go back to Ratai and turn in the bandit ears as well as the spurs to Captain Bernard. And we're finally back in town. It's time to give Captain Bernard our bandit trophies. He was kind enough to wait in this ridiculous thunderstorm till we got here. I'm honored that you should come to me. We're taking care of the camp. 
Where's the proof? Here it is. Good work. It looks like your work is done here at Ratai. I haven't heard of any other camps, so we may finally have some peace and calm. Good work. Thank you, Captain. I have no fear of idleness. I sent word to Captain Robard. They're expecting you at Talmberg. A human horde rampaging through their woods. Very well, Captain. I'll set off immediately. Glad to hear it. Sounds like I'm going to be hunting cumin next. Let's not forget our extra banded ears, though. I have some, uh, Let's see. Uh, good. That's how to treat the bastards. They're not worth a whole lot of coin, are they? Before we call our day of good deeds complete, we have some slightly shadier business to attend to. A few days ago, a peasant stopped me in town and claimed that a local guard had robbed him. Aha, here we go. The quest is quite literally called Rob the Rich, Give to the Poor. And I think that fits our Robin Hood ideals pretty well. God be with you. How what are you, are you hanging around face? for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point, but keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Groshen were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? All right. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. Now, of course, I could pay the debt myself here, but I'm more worried about the fact that we have a guard robbing the poor in the city, at least what appears to be the poor, than I am the amount of money itself. So, we're going to do some investigating here. I want to find out if this guard is guilty. And 50 groschen? That's a large amount to carry around on your person. So if that guard does have that 50 groschen, that's looking like he's definitely going to be guilty if you ask me. I guess the first thing we'll try is seeing if I can sneak up on this guy and go through his pockets without him noticing. Let's see if he's got that groschen on him. I would normally say we should wait until nighttime, but with my extra quietness that I get with my buff during the rain, I think I'll just go ahead and take care of the deed now. Okay, so he's going to be a few blocks up this way. Let's head into the back alleyway. There's the gate. Chaotic good here, guys. Chaotic good. Oh, that's him right there, eh? Got more guards walking along here. So I think I have a plan here. Once these guards and peasants kind of clear out a bit, I'm going to drop some groschen and some valuables. Once the guard goes for it, I'll try to get behind him and pick his pockets. Hopefully, he'll get greedy and go for the loot. Some Groshen. Let's make it a fat sack. 360. Oops, clumsy me. I don't know where the cup went. 
Oh, clumsy me again. Guess I'll just stand here in the alleyway. Take the bait. Oh, I'm just, you know, sorting stuff here. Nothing to see. All is normal. Checking the storehouse. He doesn't seem very inclined to move. Watch, she's gonna take the goblet. And the groschen. Well... <laughs> she's going home a much richer woman. And I'm gonna have to think of a plan B. Okay, he's moving. Oh. Changing of the guard, that was almost very bad. That's the guard tower, I believe. Can you imagine if this guy was following you? Totally not suspicious, guys. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He's gonna hang out at the tavern. Well, I think we are going to wait until nighttime. Let's see if his patrol changes at all. Okay, the guard is now across town, it looks like. Let's go investigate. God be with you, Henry. Doesn't help when you're trying to commit a minor crime and everybody knows your name. I wonder if his watch is over and he's gone home. Yeah, I think he might be at home. Just a bit of the usual, you know, Robin Hood stuff here. Just some light breaking and entering. Hope no one else lives here. Oh wow, it is pitch black in the middle part of the house here. I'll have to use my torch for just a second to look for containers. Aha! Might be able to just steal some money from his chest here. Nope. No such luck. But it does look like he's got a wife, possibly. There's a lady's nightshirt in the chest. Let's look upstairs. Okay, let's just knock him out and make sure he stays quiet. Is he alone in the room? Okay. No one else in here. Let's close the door. Just a quick knockout. Shh, shh. It's for the poor. <laughs> Got 54 groschen and a door key. And you know what? I'm gonna take his weapon as well. Let's get out of here. I like how the peasant we're helping is just called Vagabond. 
I don't even get a first name for those that I help. Really should not have left the door open. Gonna keep my torch out for a minute. Don't want anybody to recognize me. Although I can get in trouble for not having my torch out. Okay. I think I'm far enough away from his house now. Doesn't matter if somebody recognizes me. like we've got quite a few refugees here. <laughs> There's Vagabond. Uh, no, clear off. Let me sleep. Are you kidding me? God be with you. I guess I'm just going to wait here until daytime. Might as well toss some extra groshin down. I gotta sell some of this extra armor that I'm carrying to help fund all of this charity. Alright guys, let's wait until morning. Really guys, it's 7 o'clock. You should be out begging by now. Well, I see someone has made off with the groshin that I dropped last night. Vagabond! Shit, sod off! Got to be kidding me. Looks like... Most of the beggars are up. I wonder if she's sick or something. Mm, no. Let me sleep. Wow, these are some very rude beggars. I guess these beggars can be choosers, but you know what? I'm going to be kind. Let's drop just a handful of groshin so they can get some meals this week. Psh. Not even that's going to get you up. Where's that vagabond? God bless. Can I help you? I've got your coin. Ha ha ha! I'd like to see that bastard's face when he finds out it's gone. I'll give you some of the Groshin back, like I promised. And I've got another job for you. Alright guys, we're not going to look into other jobs for now. I think that's enough thieving for one night. I believe it's time that I donned my green hood and hat once again and left the thieving life behind for now okay folks like i said we're gonna call it right there with our good deeds complete let me know in the comments how i did how robin hood is my robin hood henry Again, guys, I do love this game. If you've missed out on Kingdom Come Deliverance, make sure you watch for a Steam sale because it's been on sale a bunch of times over the last couple of months. And if you haven't played it, you're missing out. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.